Likes. I'm Emma, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Due to the circumstances that the state is currently under, students were not able to participate in state FBLA this year. Here's more about it. Sam and FBLA recently had their state competition. Uh, state, we had to turn our information in at the end of February. Uh, I think February 28th was the deadline. Uh, the actual state was supposed to be held at the end of March. Uh, and that was canceled due to the... Uh, COVID-19 and the stay-at-home orders, but uh, the projects were judged uh, right around spring break time for us, and so we were able to start finding out results as far as where our kids, uh, whether they qualified for finals, um, not the middle of March, but then we didn't know for sure how nationals would look uh, with kids qualifying until uh, right there at the end of March around the state time, so what they did is just took through the preliminaries, um, how our kids qualified with their projects and there was no presentation uh, portion held. Uh, as of right now, we've qualified, I think 25 kids for the national conference. Um, and that's in, I believe, maybe nine different events, um, which is really good for us. The, our highest that we've taken to nationals was last year when we took 22 students. So we've increased that and that's without any of our testing events. Um, which I think we, we would have had two or three, at least two or three teams qualify in there as well. So um, I think one other thing for the state leadership conference, they also have uh, officer elections. We did have an officer. Um, Justin Cruz was elected as state editor. Uh, this summer, Nationals will be at Salt Lake City, uh, kind of pending the uh, orders with the virus. Uh, we, we are hopeful that we can attend and be there live in person if the event is held. Um, if not, they're working on creating a virtual platform so that we can have our group still compete. Congratulations to all the groups that made it to Nationals. Congratulations to those members. Now on to your daily announcements. The Writing Center is looking for new consultants to join their team. If you're interested, please fill out the virtual application on Schoology by May 1st. Students who have completed their freshman year and are at least 14 years of age are able to enroll in driver's ed this summer. Contact Mr. Tinsley if you have any questions. Grab-and-go lunches are being stored at Seaman Middle School. If you would like to pick up a lunch, make sure to stop by. The Viking crew is accepting applications for the 2020-21 school year. Current sophomores who would like to serve as a mentor to freshmen can complete the virtual application found on their Schoology Class of 22 page. Students, please remember that gatherings in school parking lots or on school grounds are not welcomed. Please stay home and stay safe. Graduation practice will be held at the Seaman High School Auditorium on Friday, June 31st at 11 a.m. A cookout will follow and graduates will receive their cap and gown during checkout. Real graduation will be held on Sunday, August 2nd at 4 o'clock p.m. at the Stormont Vale Center. Seniors who would like to participate in speeches at graduation must fill out the virtual application found in their Class of 2020 Schoology page by May 1st. The SHS Prom is planned for Thursday, June 30th from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the Stormont Vale Center. It's been pretty chilly these, fast, these last few days. Let's head over to weather with Josh Duncan to see what next week has in stock for us. Well, if you were up late enough or up early enough, you might have seen some snow right around 4 o'clock this morning. Flakes were flying, but... The ground was still too warm and too wet for any of it to stick. Still, a trace of snow in this late in April, that's pretty impressive and pretty noteworthy. A lot more snow to our north, though. But here, over an inch of rain fell from the late morning hours of yesterday through early this morning, and we really needed a good drink of water because 
over the past few weeks, it's been pretty dry around here. So good news with the rainfall. But here's some more good news for you. If you did not enjoy the cooler temperatures this week, this weekend is just for you because highs tomorrow will be about 15 degrees warmer than today, topping out at 63 degrees with a mostly sunny sky. Tomorrow night, there's a slight chance of a few showers with a low of 45. We might be done with freezes this season. And then for the second half of the weekend, a few showers in the morning, otherwise staying mild, maybe a few peaks of sunshine during the afternoon with highs similar in the low to mid 60s. But taking a look at that small rain chance coming in Saturday night into Sunday morning, this is by 10 o'clock and you can see it's not a lot. Maybe a few isolated showers, not really any heavy rain or any lightning or thunder with this, but just a slight chance, about 20 or 30% chance of a few hit or miss showers. And taking a look at the SVTV seven day forecast, it shows the warm up this weekend, but we get even warmer next week. Highs up into the upper 60s and low 70s for several days next week. Another slight chance of rain on Monday. Otherwise, we are dry until Wednesday when a better chance for thunderstorms arrives. That is your latest weather forecast. Now, Emma, back to you. Thanks, Josh. To close up the show, we asked a student how they're holding up in quarantine. How is quarantine going for you? Absolutely terrible. Can't see anybody. And I'm stuck in the house with my family. So, I mean, but I get to watch TV all day, so it's okay. Yeah. How are you doing with online school? It's honestly easier than regular, not regular school, but like going to school because you can like do it at your own pace and like choose to wait till Friday to do everything or like actually be responsible. So it's a little bit easier, but it's not great. Uh, how do you pass time? Watch Netflix, sleep, eat a lot, <laughs> and play with my siblings. Um, Is there anything else you'd like to add? Nope. All right, thank you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Stay safe and have a great weekend.